Stem cell therapy has advanced light years in the last couple of decades, and now it's being used to give new life to patients with debilitating injuries. Dr. Dennis Locks, a world-renowned expert in stem cells, regenerative medicine, and sports medicine, joins us today to discuss this fascinating field of medicine. Good morning, doctor. Glad to have you here. Good morning, so I'm fascinated by this because I, you know, when you think of stem cells, I, I feel like this is the future of medicine. This is where it's headed. Talk to me a little bit more about stem cells. Explain if people are, for whatever reason, hearing about this for the first time, explain what you and your team are doing here. Well, it isn't exactly new. Um, stem cells have been used in, in medicine for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. Um, with bone marrow transplants for leukemic patients, they were replacing blood cells, but they didn't realize they were uh, replacing stem cells at the same time. But they were re giving raw tissue, which required mm -hmm. severe immunosuppressive drugs with a lot of side effects. We've just become more refined, and now we can transplant just the stem cells without having to give immunosuppressant drugs. So we've just become much more sophisticated in how we deal with it. and. In the last decade, uh, our fund of knowledge has greatly expanded. And when I got into the field, there you know, was a few universities mm -hmm. doing it. But now just about every major university, if they don't have a stem cell department, they're not you know, with it. So it's, it's, a, it's a very um, burgeoning field in all areas of medicine with research. And when you hear the word knowledge, I want people to know how experienced you are in this. This is your passion. You've done a lot of studies on this. I mean, talk about why that's important, especially when we are kind of the launch of where we're seeing this more, why it's important to go to a doctor, an experienced doctor in this field. Early in my career, I've always done orthopedic sports medicine, and I noticed that patients weren't getting better, and especially with Mm -hmm. uh, as they were older with arthritis, things like cortisone shots and arthritis pills, they don't fix anything. So you would watch your patients over the years and they wouldn't get better. And so I used to say, someday we'll have stem cells. And that day is now. Well, that day is now, and that's why I kind of got in very mm -hmm. early and I was one of the pioneers in it because. But you're fascinated with the science behind this. I mean, that's correct. You really want to make sure you're doing it right, yeah, knowing why I, it works. I became quite uh, obsessive about reading everything. And um, uh, I lecture nationally and internationally with some of the most prominent uh, scientists in the world. But um, I thought it was important to, to really understand it mm -hmm. and portray myself as an expert and, and be able to explain it to my patients no matter what questions they ask me. because. There isn't complete uniformity. There are other doctors who mm -hmm. believe in certain things. And so I found it important to, to read as much as I can and understand it and work with um, various professors around the world. And you develop your own sense of, of what mm -hmm. is, is, is real for you. And then that transition to my mm -hmm. current philosophy of treating each patient individually based on their needs, not having a cookie cutter template where everybody gets the same thing. Because it isn't like that. All patients are very different. Um, a lot of the university studies doing uh, animal studies mm -hmm. have better results in humans, but the, the animals are all uniform. Mm -hmm. They are given the same food. None of the animals run marathons, and, <laughs> yeah. and, and my patients do. So right. there's well, such great variability. Well, and that brings up an important note here before we close is that this is your own stem cells. I think, again, mm. as this kind of launches, people need to understand what type of stem cell this is. Correct. Uh, in, in the United States, um, there are certain rules. Mm -hmm. um, we can do stem cell uh, treatments, but it has to be your cells, and it has to be the same day. Um, and as long as you're doing mm -hmm. that, there, there isn't any, any problem. There was a, an issue over embryonics. Well, we, we use your own cells, right. not embryonics. And the Vatican even supports uh, the use of stem cells, just not embryonics. Well, doctor, I wish we had the, old, the whole hour. We have to wrap up. The good news is you are going to be back. You're going to be back with some of your patients as well. So we're going to hear some success stories. We can't wait for that. In the meantime, people want to find out more. There is your number to call the uh, website as well to go to learn more. Thank you so much, doctor. Again, My you pleasure. can tell your passion. We're excited about future segments with you. Thank you, Carl.